Hi there, Kenny Main for CafePress.com. Can you hear that helicopter? Yep, it's killing our audio, but I'm so good I mow right through it. We were gonna purchase advertising for the big game, but since no one watches television these days, we saw it as a complete waste of money. This is the internet, and we'd like to waste our money on our own terms. Do you know what the Super Bowl is? Super Bowl. Do you know what that is? The two best football teams play each other? Yankees. Yankees are not going to be playing in the Super Bowl. Not this time. They know. lost uh, Robinson Cano to the Mariners, so that pretty much took them out of the Super Bowl. Because we didn't buy ad time, we don't even have the right to say the name of the game. But you know, it's that football game between two teams with Roman numerals. Historically, it's been played on Sundays almost every time. That's why it goes by the name the two teams who play football with Roman numerals Sunday. Saturday's a more relaxing day. You wake up, you got cartoons. Yeah. Breakfast cereal, you make a fort, you turn over chairs in your living room, make prank phone calls, and then roll right into the Super Bowl. Yeah. 53% of Americans DVR the Super Bowl, then watch it two weeks later and skip all the ads. And none of those ads is going to mention Super Saturday. Can I count on the support of Brazilian youth to move America's football championship to Saturday? Yeah! Yeah! I'm going to buy each of you a pack of Starbursts. By moving to Saturday, a larger audience will be created. The game will attract those non-sports fans who were trying to watch public affairs programming on a Saturday. The only people who watch those shows. Bigger audience means more ad revenue. More expensive commercials means they'll be better. Obviously. The Super Bowl is like the World Cup. Do you know what the World oh. Cup is? Soccer? Soccer. Okay. Other people say World Cup, we say Super Bowl. That's hey. that's why we fought the war, the revolution. By moving the game from Sunday back to Saturday, it will yield an extra 24 hours for American football fans to talk about what happened. They'll say things like, did you see that play? When the guy did that? Don't you think if it were Saturday, then you'd have Sunday to talk about it, then go back to work. Yeah, it'd be more of an event. Yeah. All weekend. Yes. And you can drink more. Yeah. Because 90% of the country will be drunk during the game, moving it ahead to Saturday will add a buffer day. So there's no lack of productivity on the following Monday. And if anyone knows about lack of productivity, it's me. Are you keeping it real more than you are chilling, or are you more chilling than keeping it real right now? More chilling than keeping it real. But hold on, 74% of Americans watch 56% of their television on the internet. So it actually does matter. Why else would we have spent billions of dollars on this internet, whatever this thing is? I don't even know what this is and I'm in it. Hey Greg, Kenny Main, hope you're well. I was gonna call and see if the commissioner of football wanted to come down to the street. So I came to NFL headquarters and demanded an audience with Roger Goodell so that he might wear this t-shirt and join our movement. Product placement. You know, I got so many t-shirts, it's like whatever, I just take it. Night-night bar. Night-night bar. Bang, all day. <laughs>